This is my review of the Galax GTX 1070 Hall of Fame. Ang GPU na to ay may Trimax cooler na gumagamit ng triple 90mm fans, Hall of Fame LED lighting sa may backplate at sa may side ng GPU shroud. Ang backplate niya ay gawa sa brushed aluminum at naka-etch ang words na Hall of Fame. Meron din naka-etch na logo ng Hall of Fame, yung may crown, and may warning labels din na caution hot surface. Kailangan nito ng dalawang 8-pin PCIe power. Meron siyang tatlong display port, isang HDMI, isang DVI-I dual link interface. Meron din siyang kasamang Hall of Fame flex hold na ginagamit para uh, mabuhasan ng GPU sag ng ating GPU. Mayroong dalawang mounting points ng flex hold sa paligid ng GPU, sa harap at sa gilid. Ito ang default fan RPM ng Galaxy Hall of Fame. At ito naman pag nakapindot na ang hyper boost button niya. Three thousand RPM siya pag nakapindot yung hyper boost button. This is specifically used for overclocking. Kaya ganyan, hindi importante yung noise level. Ang habol mo talaga dito is performance at kung may hinihit kang uh, score sa mga synthetic benchmarks. Oh, timing na. Yan, timing talaga siya. Pero pag gagamit may hyper boost button, yun talaga nakamax yung RPM ng fans. Ito yung test bench na ginamit ko para matesting yung mga games. They need to utilize the Prisla though. Prisla has been farming a lot, but Gibby are steamrolling towers right now. He is strong enough to the point where he can go in and fight, but if he TP's in, he just gets glimpsed back. TP's are coming. Darker. Well, he's got Hookshot off cooldown in two seconds time and managed to isolate Zai. They trap him inside the storm. A quick fall stop. Hookshot out. Taka does manage to hold him. A quick glimpse. Nope, that's not going to work. Early imprisonment was used. The funny thing is, the glimpse does still work with that. KP holding the rabbit. Four heroes pretty close together. Crit going to get gushed up. Artizi comes in. Samael to buy universe. The only person not hit by that rabbit, but he just jumps in. There goes your spirit jump. But SC has to take that Ember Spirit out. They want to keep fighting. The courier gets sniped off in the meantime. That was the radiant one. Back to life from the Aegis Immortal. Quick TP out. Is there a stun? Is there anything? Yes, there is. That's the frostbite available from Crit. Meanwhile, around the shrine, the ship flies in, and right now he's trying to do it solo. The man, the conquer, he wants to crack the melon. The Dark Sea of War will help out. EG underneath their own shrine will win inside, taunting on one HP under the corpses of Newbie. By both fallen and cold, the, the double off duo that was mentioned on the desk earlier, they're saving their money as much as possible here. Elish is very aggressive down and drop, just setting the pace and setting the tempo early on. Somehow that's a USPS that Cold managed to take him out with. It shows you how dangerous he is. Yeah, and this is actually the very same tactic that was just ran by Team Liquid in the last round. So SK, they've actually rotated a third member. There's a really nice crossfire setup. Simple doesn't have a Molotov to force anyone out. He's actually got the bomb and an AK, and he's all alone here. If SK was to pounce or, or somehow, somehow get just a lucky kill on him, that would be very dangerous. Yeah, I was about to say, that is a little bit of a scary scenario. But he is going to back off, and it looks like JDM and Nitro as well, rotating over towards that A site. And obviously, they were close enough to hear that. The guy's holding an underpass for SK, so they're going to start rotating over towards the B site. Everybody here for SK soon. And Liquid, they aren't even out onto the site yet. 50 seconds left, and Simple leads the way. Very subtle, Taco. Instant headshot on Simple, and that drops the bomb. SK Gaming, they have confirmation that Liquid are coming to this bomb site. Good Molotov there, but they need to do more than that. Taco will be going down, so it's a three on three.
time na para sa conclusion. As you can see, yung performance ng GTX 1070 sa ating mga sikat na esports games tulad ng Dota 2 at CSGO at isang AAA title game na Division ay napakaganda ng performance ng GTX 1070. Kaya kung gusto nyo na talaga ng higher FPS sa 1080p reso tapos kukombohan nyo pa ng high refresh rate panels, ayun, magkakaroon kayo ng very smooth gaming experience kung GTX 1070 ang gagamitin yung GPU. And that's a wrap. Maraming salamat nga pala sa pagpanood ng aking review. Please subscribe sa aking channel na Tech Onage for more reviews. Peace out!